question number two. The graph shows the variation with acceleration a with time t of an object moving in a straight line. Okay, this is a at graph shown. Which graph shows the variation of the velocity v of the object with time? So we need to know. Okay, corresponding vt graph with respect to this at graph. So how do we do this? So what we do is see here the acceleration is continuously varying. Okay, so when it is varying, velocity will also vary, but we do not know how does it vary. So what we'll do is let us look at some aspect, some important parameter here. Let us take up this point at the peak. What do you get in this peak? You see the acceleration is a constant. Nearby to the peak and even after the peak, the this looks like a flat region like this over here. Okay, which means when acceleration is constant. When the acceleration is constant, what will happen to velocity? Velocity will be varying. So how will, how will that vary? The velocity varies. V by t will be equal to a constant. In other words, it should be a straight line. V is equal to u plus at or v should be equal to a into t. So this is what you should observe. That means v should be proportional to t. Now that, that is the graph that we need to look at. Now let us look at this. V is proportional to t in which region? Only in this region it has been proportional. Okay, let us not jump to conclusions. Let us look at this. Here you see everywhere it has been proportional. So this is definitely incorrect because you know in these regions v is not proportional to t. V should be proportional to square of t or maybe some polynomial of t. So therefore this is incorrect. So wherever there is a straight line, okay, for v versus t at all regions it is incorrect. So this is incorrect. This is also incorrect. What about this and this? So here also you can see. Is a straight line like this. Okay, only in a small region v should be proportional to t. At all the other regions, v should not be proportional to t. That's what is the inference. Now, next is now here you see this value of a is positive, positive because see, any value which is beyond this value will always be positive over here. So therefore, here this value of a is positive. Now, where do we get v a as positive here? That means the slope should be positive, right? Whenever we say acceleration in uh, vt graph, it should be positive. So in this region, acceleration is positive, but here you see it's a decreasing slope. So therefore, A is the right answer.